Okay, I'm going to start by quickly giving some introduction to functions in JavaScript. There are a couple of different ways in which you can create functions in JavaScript. The first way is by using what's called a function declaration. This should be familiar to people coming from other programming languages. This is kind of standard across a lot of the C family of programming languages. So let's say I want to create a function called foo, so I would do something like this. Say function as a keyword, I give it a name, open close, and then the curly braces to denote the function body. And now I can add logic in the function body. Here I'm just doing a console.log, function foo is called, and now this is a simple function declaration. All right, so I've declared a function. I've created a name to the function called foo. So foo is kind of like a variable, and wherever you use foo uh, in your code, it's pointing to this function uh, declaration. Uh, the other thing I should mention is that functions are actually objects in JavaScript. So what we're doing here is we're creating kind of like an object for this function and then giving that object a name called foo. All right, so there's another way in which we can create functions, and this is using what's called a function expression. JavaScript has what is called first class functions in the sense that you can create a function and assign it to a variable, just like you can create a string or a number and assign it to a variable. And the way it works is something like this. Now I have a variable called bar and I'm assigning to bar a function. Okay, so I've created a function in line and I'm assigning that to it. And now in the function, I can again have the function body and I'm here, I'm just doing console.log function bar called. So what this does is lines five, six, seven, what they do is they initialize a function, right? And then assign it to the variable bar. It's not executing the function and assigning the result to bar, it's actually assigning the function itself. The reason it works in JavaScript is because functions are actually objects. An instance of a function is actually an object instance. And now bar is pointing to this object instance for a function, just like foo is pointing to an object, which is this function. Now that I have these two functions, the way to execute, to call these functions are pretty similar. If I were to call foo, I would do something like this, foo, open close, and now I'm calling the function foo. Similarly, if I was to call bar, or I would call this function, I would use the variable that I have assigned it to, and use the same you know, syntax, I say bar, open close, and it would call the bar function. All right, so this is a quick primer about functions in uh, JavaScript. This is handy to know because a lot of the scope-related concepts that we're gonna discuss in this course are uh, very closely linked to functions.